All right, folks. So what we have here is the seven and a half inch cleaver by Old Hickory. What I wanted to do is a video doing a quick show and tell of this knife, tool, chopper, whatever you want to call it. But before I do that, why don't y'all go grab yourself a nice cold one? Come on back, and we'll get started. All right, so hopefully everybody made it back. <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about Old Hickory Knives. Uh, this is the second one I've owned. I did a video on the 7-inch butcher knife, and uh, that'll be in my knife playlist. This one is the cleaver. Um, these Old Hickory Knives, they started manufacturing them in 1924, so they've been around for a while. They're now manufactured by Ontario Knife Company, and I don't think that's always been the case. I think that that's a relatively new thing. Now, a lot of people will talk about, I remember my grandma had an Old Hickory Knife, and... They're modeled after some pretty old butcher knives. Now, I don't know if anybody in my family had old hickory knives, but I remember knives that looked like them. And uh, like I said, I have the uh, butcher knife, and then I actually saw this for sale relatively cheap. I want to say it was about $12, uh, and I bought it, and it's uh, just been sitting in a pile over here. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. Um, it's packaged in this shrink wrap material. It's not, not particularly nice, but for 12 bucks, what do you expect? It says it's full tang. It's carbon steel. It is 1095 and has an antique finish. Um, as a result of being 1095, you got to keep these things a little bit dry when you're done using them. It says the hand wash. Don't put them in the dishwasher because they can rust. Wooden handle, and then it has uh, brass pinned construction. And on the back, it's got some information, just a little bit about different old hickory knives that you can buy. And uh, it has a warning about the steel. and just uh, It may tarnish or rust if you don't take care of it. But it won't cut the blades. It won't affect the blade's cutting efficiency. So holding this thing, it uh, feels a little heavy, and I guess I expected it would. I don't have a whole lot of experience uh, in dealing with cleavers. Let's see if... Uh, well, that doesn't feel very sharp. I can actually see that it's dull right here. Uh, the, the butcher knife that I got came uh, a little bit dull, too. Let's go ahead and... Uh, So as you see, uh, it's going to need it's going to need a little bit of sharpening, but that's no problem. Maybe I'll do a video of that. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of a spec rundown. This lists its Rockwell hardness, the uh, HRC between 53 and 58. So it probably has a differential heat treat. It's probably harder here and softer here to give it a little bit of flexibility, but some edge retention at the same time. The overall length of this. Uh, chopper, this uh, cleaver, is 12 inches, and the blade is listed at 7.5 inches, which is a little bit odd because they call it the 7-inch chopper. I'm going to continue to call it the 7-inch chopper, even though it, or not chopper, cleaver, even though it has a 7.5 inch blade. I talked a little bit about the full tang and pin construction, so there's nothing else to really go over there. Um, and then as you can see, this looks to me to be about 3.5 uh, millimeters thick. So it uh, is pretty rigid, it's not flexible like the butcher knife. But I guess if you're doing chopping, you want a knife that uh, is a little bit thicker um, and less inclined to break. Anyhow, that's really about it. It's a short video, folks. So thanks. Take care, everyone.